I offer my humble pranam at the lotus feet of Bhagavan Sri Sathya Sai Baba. Welcome to video lecture on microcontroller and embedded system laboratory. Uh, today lecture I am going to explain uh, about uh, this program. Write a program to find the square of a number using lookup table techniques. So normally if you want to perform any operations, you have to go for like arithmetic instructions or logical in instructions. Okay, like the arithmetic manipulation, logical you know, manipulation like that. Now here we have to find a square of a number without using any manipulation directly you have to go for a table called lookup table. Now here in this case, <coughs> here there will be a table, let's call say a lookup table lookup table that is here there will be it's an input I want to find a square of 5 whatever the number you, if you want to find the square that must be in the first location in the first location the address of the first location is this this calls a lookup table for whole thing we can call a lookup table uh, from 4000 means uh, from location number 1 onwards location number 0 that is 4 followed by 7 zeros. It is a 32 bit address. I am using this internal RAM memory location. The first location contains a number that's the input. Okay, for this, you have to find the square of a number. Now, here the square of 1, 1 square, 2 square, that is 3 square, 4 square, 5 square, 6 square, 7 square, 8 square, 9 square, and 10 square. 10 square is nothing but 100. Actually, I am going to place all the numbers in the form of decimal only. Uh, we have option for a uh, storing in the decimal form also. Decimal form also. Uh, therefore, this is our uh, lookup table. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to explain the actual program here. Now, I will explain about area. Therefore, somebody has to be there to decide what uh, type of memory we are going to use. So, there will be we have two important uh, memory. One is called a code memory to store the program. The another one is called a data memory to store some data, read write or some data. Those data we can able to modify. Now here that is code program memory. That is a read only. The name of the program is square. The entry decide the starting address of the execution where you have to start executing the program. Uh, now here lookup table. What is the starting address of the table? This is the starting address of this particular table. Then here we are trying to store the result at this location. Okay. Uh, now this is the first instruction. LDR load register. Load register. LDR stands for load register. Which register or not? From where? From the memory location lookup. So it takes you to this location lookup. That's the name of the memory location that contains this uh, value address that comes to R mod. Means I'm storing the base address of this table. This is a base address of the table into where R mod. Next, LDR R2, comma, result. So what is the address of the result? That is this one. That is 4 followed by 0, 0, then 1, 0. This address comes to R2. This is starting address of the memory where we are going to store the result. Uh, now here 5, what is 5 square? That is 25. We have to store that 25 in this location. So without performing any manipulation with the help of table, lookup table, we are going to get the result directly from this. Say 5, then 25, place the 25 here. Suppose if the input is 9, 9 square is nothing but 81. Get that 81 and place that into this location. Now, <clears throat> R0 use the base address, R2 use the address of the result. <clears throat> Next, LDRB, load register, from where? From the memory. Which memory that address is given by R0? What is the value of R0? This address. Then it takes you to this location, get this number, that is 8-bit number, because here byte is there, it gets only this number 5, that is 8-bit number, and place that number in R1. Now R0 contains lookup table address, that is a base address, R0 contains this address, that is 4 followed by 0, 0, 0. Now R1 contains, that is 5. Then I'm going to add, add the content of R0, that is nothing but this, plus R1, that is 5, therefore 4 followed, 4 followed by 0, 0, plus 5, that becomes, let it be 4, 0, 0, 0, then 0, 5, that is 
0 1 2 3 4 5 it points to this location okay after executing this particular instruction r not becomes r not becomes what 4 followed by 00, zero and it be uh, that is uh, 4000 something like that it's not 4000 it's a 32 bit address therefore 4 followed by 7 zeros plus 5 said so that that goes to where r not the next is transfer means load register load register 8 bit or 16 bit 32 bit here i'm planning to load 8 bit data from memory location i'm going to transfer 8 bit data from where from memory location which memory location that address is given by r not what is the content of r not now it use the address of this memory location okay this location okay that gives your answer so square of 5 the square of 5 is available here therefore that 25 comes to where r3 your job is over now only thing is we have to transfer this result to this memory location already we have stored the starting address of the result in r2 therefore that is store the content of r3 actually r3 is 32 bit register but i'm not uh, getting all 32 bit just i'm going to get only 8 bit from r3 store byte from where from r3 from r3 and place that data in where in the memory the square bracket refers to memory into memory which memory that address is given by r2 r2 points to this location the content of r3 goes to this location there is nothing but 25 then stop the proof this is the way of stopping a created infinite loop once if you give this uh, this instruction the control will be here keep on executing the same instruction infinitely okay it won't come out of this loop it won't execute any further instruction suppose if the input is something six then this address plus six it points to this location gets this number and place that number here in this location okay any doubts here now this is the way of uh, finding the square of a number by using lookup table technique not only this now we can able to find the uh, we can able to convert uh, digit to seven segment code or digit to ascii code or anything with the help of lookup table we can able to convert from one form to another form i think uh, i understood uh, uh, this is the way of uh, calculating the square of a number by using the lookup table uh, technique Therefore, I'm going to explain the same thing uh, by using uh, what you call that's a key microvision uh, software. So, this is the program, the same program that I've explained. Now, I'm just I'm going to explain and give a demo for this. Save, then compile this program. Now, go to debug. Okay. Uh, by default, the memory is something like this. The memory window is like this. Just, just uh, click on this. That is a right click. Then select this. That is a decimal. Uh, now it's a decimal. Now first, I'm going to store the input. That is actually, I want to find the square of 5. It will be 5. Here the square of 1 is 1 square. This is uh, 2 square. That is 4. 3 square, 9. 4 square 16, 5 square 25, 25, 6 square, 7 square, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 square 64, 9 square 81, 100, 10 square 100. That is here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, for this, we can call it a lookup table. From here to here, we can call it as a lookup table. Now, this is the input. Therefore, this 5 square, square that is 25. I have to get this 25. I have to place that in this location. That is, this is a starting address of the result to store the result. Okay. Now, I'm going to execute. First step is before executing this program, uh, now we have to store the, we have to create the lookup table. Okay. Now I'm going to execute this. Uh, suppose if you execute in a run mode, run mode, what happened? Okay, we'll explain. I will execute in a single step manner. Now, what is the initial value of R naught, R1, R0? If you execute this, this is the point that is here. 
if we execute first instruction, what happened then or not becomes this. So this is the starting address of the lookup table. This is starting address of the lookup table that comes to R0. Then if we execute this, what is the starting address of the result? This is the starting address of the result that comes to R2. That's okay. That is also initialized. Now load register, load byte from where? From the memory. Which memory that address is given by R0? What is the value of R0? This is the value of R0. Then it points to this location. Okay, that comes to where R1. So what is the initial value of R10? Now if you execute this particular instruction, what happened? R1 becomes 5. R1 becomes 5. Then add the content of R0 with R1. R1 contains 5. R0 contains the base address. It's going to add both. And that is that will be placed in R0. Okay. Now, now what happened? If you execute this. Now, what is the value of R0? R0 becomes 4 followed by 005. Okay, it points to this location. Okay, it points to this location. Now, what is the meaning of this? Then transfer the data from memory location. Which memory location that is pointed by R0? The R0 value is this. Okay, then it points to this location. This data comes to where? R3. Now, R3 becomes 90. R3 becomes what? 19. Here, actually, in this case, the result is in result is in what decimal, but whenever transferring from here to here, it's going to store in hexadecimal form. Therefore, uh, hexadecimal equivalent of 25 is 19, that 19 comes to this. But at the time of saving into the memory, it will store in terms of decimal because I selected the decimal format. Now, next is store. That is, store the content of R3 in the memory pointed by R2. Now, this becomes 25. What is 5 square? That is 25. That 25 comes to this location. Okay, this is the way. Okay. The, just I'm going to give one more uh, uh, example. Then I'm going to reset. Reset. Okay, reset. Okay, the pointer comes back to this. Then all registers initialize to 0. Now, instead of 5, uh, just I'm going to 9. <coughs> I'll put 9. Okay, 9. Okay, 9, then I'm going to execute uh, once again uh, this uh, program. Therefore, 9 square is nothing but 81. This 81 has to come to this location. Suppose I will execute once again. I will execute complete thing. That is 81. Okay. Now, actually it's infinite loop. It's an infinite loop. So suppose if you click on this, it, the control comes here. It's a, this is a last instruction. So once again, reset, restart. Now, point comes once again here. Then instead of 9, I'm going to put 10. That is 10. Here 10. That's what is 10 square. Then that is 100 actually. So I have to place this 100 here. Okay. Now if you execute once again under run mode. Okay. Run mode. So what is the output? That is 100. Okay. Any doubts here? Okay. Now this is the uh, way of finding the square of a number. Okay, square of a number using lookup table. As per our problem statement, you have to find a square from 1 to 10. You can extend same thing. Like that, we can able to use this uh, technique uh, to convert from one form to another form. Okay, degree to Fahrenheit or uh, ASCII to decimal, decimal to ASCII or decimal to seven segment code. It's a very effective tool to convert from one form to another form. So thanks for uh, watching okay if you have any doubts you can put your doubts in the comment section